what's the latest with these guys? Man, it's crazy. So it's funny. Yesterday, there's a guy. His name's Tuttle. T U D D L E. He's got his. You know, you can follow him on Twitter. He does a little podcast and stuff. Well, Tuttle used to be on Bubba the Love Sponge as kind of a you know. Uh, 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 I, I forget the term, but like he would he would have him out doing crazy stunts. He was kind of a stunt guy, you know what I mean? And so, but he hadn't been with the show in a while. But he tweeted something. It said, you know, Tampa Radio versus Orlando. You know, you should never push and shove people. You shouldn't ever treat people that way. And I was like, I don't know what Tuttle's talking about. I couldn't find any reference point. Well, then today, a video surfaces of Bubba the Love Sponge nemesis Mike Calta in a restaurant looks to be at some sort of a meet and greet and there's a lady sitting probably three three and a half feet in front of him recording him as he's talking with her phone and he starts yelling at her or telling her at the time to stop recording right so yeah and she's like you know he was like why are you recording me you should be recording all those people behind you that are all here to see me and then he grabs the phone from her and starts recording, holding the phone up high, recording the audience, telling her how stupid she is, calling her the C word. I mean, mm. just kind of, you know, it's like I understand somebody's got a, a, a camera in front of you and they're filming you, but like to behave that way as a man towards a lady, it was. You, you also know. need to remember that uh, that somebody is in front of you with a camera. <laughs> And, well, and apparently he, somebody he, else he, he with another camera that. that filmed this, you know? Yeah, yeah. So there's a guy off to the right or gal or somebody filming this, you know, episode going down between these two. And then he holds the phone up and he's holding it away from her. And she's like, just give him my phone back. Give him my phone. That's my phone, you know? And at this point, she's got a valid point. The security guard's just standing mm, there. For sure. Kind of just kind of hedging her away. It's like, dude, you have her property hand her her phone back well she reaches right. to grab her phone she doesn't reach to hit him she goes for her phone and this dude man shoves her away pushes her away then puts his hand in her face and shoves her basically yeah. almost to the ground and then just dresses her down you know calling her a stupid you know c word and all this and it was dude it was so disrespectful i mean like and then he sits there and continues as they're pushing her away the security guard and he gets on her phone and continues doing whatever he was doing on her phone. And and that's where the video ends, you know, if somebody recorded him do that. So I don't know if he deleted the video that she had. I'm sure he probably did. Or whatever happened after that. But what I did hear this afternoon is that he was not on his show this morning, that Cox oh. Media kept him off the air this morning. And I, I'm not sure that's 100% true, but that's what I heard looking on Twitter. Bubba hadn't talked about this at all. I was watching his show this morning. He didn't comment on it whatsoever. So, dude, I don't know. This is uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, this it may is grow a, some this legs. Is, uh, yeah, this is uh, – It sounds like it could. I don't think this is – you know, I don't know if that whole Alex Stein-Bubba deal that we've talked about a month a month ago or so on the on the show, you know, they've, they've become friends again. It's worked oh, yeah. itself out. I don't know uh, if that, that was, was just... an angle to – or what to kind of help promote Alex Stein with this boxing deal that he he effed up, uh, you just know? Some, on, just, <laughs> just add some heat to the mix, yeah. Before he threw the yeah, it's just the wrestling move yeah. stuff. Absolutely, I mean it's what they do. But this seems to be a real deal deal. But I fully expect uh, Bubba to have some kind of a comment about it. I can tell you this though, Chad. I know you're I know that you are completely Bubba Army. I'm Bubba Army by default and I'm Bubba Army because I choose to be as well. I enjoy, I enjoy Bubba and uh it's been fun getting to know getting to know more about them and digging in and going down the rabbit hole learning a lot more. But I can tell you one thing that I do know about Bubba the Love Sponge. He wouldn't do that to a woman ever. No, absolutely ever. not. Absolutely uh, it, not. It's something that he would not do. So it, 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 I find it to be extremely low of this dude, Mike, whatever. Yeah, his Mike name, Calta. Calta. You it's know, just, uh, his whole whatever, demeanor man. around that, even if you said, oh, my arm went that way. No, dude, the things you were saying to this lady before. No, he, things forcefully, you said this lady, he forcefully moved it, that arm. Yes, he did really <laughs> hard. He, he's a big dude. She weighs maybe 110 pounds, you know, and he's like, he's a yeah. three, 400 pound dude. I don't know. He's big. He's a big old boy. Yeah. And, and, you know, he's a big New Yorker guy. He plays this tough guy act. Dude, and here he is doing this to a lady, just a bully, man. And yeah. he's, uh, it's just, it's just a shame. Like 
trust me, there's things you could say about Bubba that's like, oh, he shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't. Have. But dude, oh, that's, there's plenty. That he is knows. that is awful, though, man. There's just no that excuse is awful. for what he did and how he was just yep. so dismissive of her and get out of here, you know, you stupid, you know, yeah. whatever. So it was just terrible, man. So I I'll be shocked if he keeps his job there. And yep. I'll be even more shocked. Hey, it'd be crazy. Bubba comes flying back in on the back end. They come begging Bubba to come back to save the station because, dude, his ratings were twice as high as what Couch has been able to maintain since he's been there after Bubba left. So, I mean, like, why wouldn't you bring Bubba back? He's been pretty clean as a whistle for the last yeah, I mean, know, he's running five, a good, clean years. operation, right? He's yeah. doing great. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you bring him on? But, you know, and Bubba might look at them and go, you know what? You keep it, boys. Screw good you. Luck drowning. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. He'd, he'd probably take it back because he could keep Money doing talks. what he's doing. Money talks, he got, you know. He owns I mean, his I'm own sure. content. He can continue to do everything yep. he's doing. And then, by the way, just put me on that station, too. And give me yep. 400000 you know, and let's keep rolling, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Whatever, <you know? laughs> well, I got to feel Bubba's coming back strong. There's no doubt about it. His social media presence is, is definitely – uh, gaining traction is YouTube. The videos they're putting out, you know, everything is, uh, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun to be on the shock jock ride, if, if you will. But it, you know, <laughs> I, it's interesting. It's like our little soap opera here on Tig's bit. That's exactly what it is. The soap opera. 